Hi and welcome to my knitting journey. Um, this is a knitting podcast. I'm Vanessa and this is the very first episode. Um, I thought I was gonna try and do a knitting podcast because like it's one of my hobbies and I want to talk more about it and show people what I do. Um, I haven't been knitting for that long yet so um, I don't have a lot to show yet and I'm still at the beginning of learning how to do all the stitches um, but I thought it might be interesting to document my journey and uh, motivate other people to learn and continue learning uh, and having fun with knitting. <laughs> um, yeah. As you maybe can see I'm a bit nervous and as you maybe can hear um, English isn't my first language so I hope you can stick with me and it's not too bad to <laughs> listen to me. I think I'm gonna do this this way that I'm first gonna talk about what I recently finished then what I'm currently knitting on and after that I can show you some of the yarn that I recently bought um, and at the end I maybe want to try and talk a little about my knitting journey so far. <laughs> so for things that I recently finished um, I'm going to show you some things that I just finished. I'm not going to show you everything I ever finished. I thought that I maybe show you some pieces in every episode. Uh, I'm also not a fastest knitter so I don't know how much I'll have to show in each episode so I can stretch that a little. Um, the first thing I recently finished is the it's my second ever sweater. Um, it's the Aquamarine sweater by Park Knit. Um, it's a raglan design cropped sweater with very big balloon sleeves um, and it's made out of stash yarn and I really like this because this is actually about 30 to 40 years worth of my mother's stash yarn so I just picked scraps and little leftovers from her stash um, that she didn't need anymore and knitted this sweater out of it. Um, yeah. Um, I think it's a nice sweater. I just wish I would have knitted it a bit longer because it's really short right now. It doesn't even hit my jeans when I'm wearing them. Um, so if I knit this again, and I probably will because we still have a lot of scrap yarn left. <laughs> um, I make it a bit longer and also knit the arms a bit longer. I'm still not that good at like guessing how long I need to make things and then I'm too lazy to try it on and just follow the pattern and end up with things that are too small or too big. <laughs> um, Another thing that I made out of the same yarn, so the same scraps um, that I had left over after knitting the sweater, is this head. Um, it's the Puffy Poof head by Jessie Maid Design. Um, I'm gonna link and write down everything I show in the description box below uh, if you're interested. Well, I can't tell you the yarn that's in this because it's just scraps. Um, yeah, I made the version with a brim and a pom-pom on the top. <laughs> and I made a second hat because I still had some leftovers. And this is actually a bit colorful for me. Also the sweater. I knitted it because I had all of this yarn and thought it would be uh, nice to have like a colorful sweater for when I feel feel like it but usually I would tend to 
and more earthy tones. <laughs> um, yeah, so this hat is quite a bit more muteous um, and without a brim and without a pom pom. I think in the next episode I will show you some of the socks I recently knitted because I just started learning to knit socks. Um, I've already knitted three pairs um, and for socks I do it like this. Um, I always follow the favorite sock pattern by Christine Lehrer. Um, so I use this as, as basic, the small size, and then I just change and tweak it to get the look that I want. So, um, for example, I just started knitting another pair um, and for this one I use a contrasting color. And the first pair I knitted, I knitted them just plain. And since then I've been trying out different stitches. Like here I'm trying to knit a left-leaning cable and a right-leaning cable at each side on the front. Um, just so I have like small projects that you can still wear them if something if it doesn't look that good. Um, and it's not a huge sweater or something to learn new things and new stitches. So yeah, with this one, um, my first work in, work in progress, um, I'm learning to knit cables. And for socks, I also often do like a little chart like this, where I do a very rough sketch of um, how it's, gonna look like and I write down notes like what kind of ribbing I want at the top and um, like for this one it's a 4x4 four four rib and uh, if I have some kind of special pattern like here I'm doing the the cables I, I write that down but I only write down like the front part so the pattern for half of the stitches because I'm knitting the back plane and I'm knitting this on the Adi Crazy Trio needles so you it's a bit like DPNs but easier um, it's just three needles instead of four or five and um, it's a bit like knitting in the round um, yeah I found this easier than magic loop I find magic loop a bit confusing at the moment <laughs> um, yeah and I'm knitting it in these two yarns that's a dark mossy green and a light pink one with a tweed effect um, they are Lang magic tweed superwash yarns um, with 62 percent virgin wool, 18 percent nylon and 10 percent viscose and 10 percent um, acrylic which for me is a bit too synthetic but I think I didn't pay attention when I bought them because I found them I, I thought they were pretty and I didn't really look at what's in them yeah still gotta learn <laughs> Another work in progress that I have is this uh, top. It's I think it's a secret crop by Jessie Maid, also by Jessie Maid. Um, I'm knitting a lot of her designs. Um, it's just this basic ripped top. I think I'm knitting it a bit too small, but that's yeah. Uh, I just made a little change to the pattern I knitted the, I'm knitting the straps in um, eight stitches instead of six because I want them to be a bit thicker and yeah as you can see I just have to finish the second strap and then I'm done. 
I'm knitting it up in um, two skeins of yarn, um, half double. Uh, so it's one merino and one silk mohair and that's the knitting for olive merino wool in the color rust and the knitting here's the tag um sorry <laughs> here's the tag and uh, knitting for olive uh, silk mohair also in the color rust and this is not gonna be a summer job <laughs> I know that this is a lot too warm uh, for summer because like it's merino and mohair um, but I thought I'm gonna use it as like a layering piece to put uh, on top of um, shirts or dresses more of an autumn winter piece than a summer piece <laughs> And I'm also knitting it because I want to try out the yarn. I am thinking of buying um, a sweater quality worth of that yarn uh, in a different color, but I wanted to see if I like it, if I find it too scratchy or if, yeah, I just want to know what the yarn feels like and works like before I decide on buying a large quantity because I don't I can't afford to buy a large quantity of yarn if I'm not gonna like it or use it. And I also often buy yarn only for a specific project. Um, yeah, another work in progress is this scarf I'm knitting. It's the On the Rails um, pattern by Espace Tricot on Ravelry. Um, their patterns are all for free, I think. So yeah, I wanted to try it. And I'm, it's it's like this ripped scarf with um, some like <laughs> patterned holes um, every few rows, and um, it's increasing. It's constantly increasing, so you have like on one side the scarf is this skinny scarf, and uh, at the end it's gonna be like it's <laughs> it's gonna be a wider, so it's kind of like a parallel. No, I don't know <laughs> what you call that shape. And I'm in. I'm knitting this also um, with two yarns. Um, one of them is this color changing yarn. It's the um, Lace Flower by Schoppel. I think you call it Schoppel. Um, it's 100% Merino Superwash. And it's a total of 1200 meters, so 150 grams. It's a lace weight yarn you can see here it's very thin um and with this other yarn that's the Pilkolana Saga it's this very soft yellow in 100% lamb's wool um yeah I think that's everything I have to say about that <laughs> um my last work in progress is this beast um, that's gonna be a blanket at some point. I um, started this about two years ago um, and I just I can't finish this. <laughs> I'm, I always get bored knitting on it because it's just like garter stitch um, and then like doing some stripes. And it's the yarn is 100% acrylic. I I started this and planned for this when I, all I could do was garter stitch, and I didn't know a lot about yarns. Um, yeah, so I sometimes I have this rule that uh, between every project I have to knit like four rows, uh, four stripes on this blanket before I can start something new. But I, I'm not really doing that. <laughs> um, 
but I'm, I'm still not doing that every single time so yeah I think I hope this video isn't too all over the place it, but I'm I'm a bit nervous and I've not, never done this before so yeah bear with me uh, yeah for yarn I added I recently added to my stash I have these three balls um, they are twice this sock yarn um, it's I bought them at a, I bought all three of them at a local just craft store um, and I don't know I don't think they have the best kind of yarn but they were on sale uh, so I couldn't resist and um, it's this one and it's uh, um, by Wolle Röde, I don't know if you can read this, and it's 75% um, uh, wool and 25% nylon. Um, and this one, that's by Rico Design, and it's this speckled yarn, and I thought they would maybe go well together. Um, I maybe want to knit some socks for my boyfriend. Uh, And I need more than 100 grams for him. So this is twice 50 grams and this is 100 grams because he's got enormous feet. <laughs> um, and when knitting socks for him, I've only knitted one pair for him, but I know that um, 100 grams isn't enough. <laughs> and maybe I'll have some left for socks for my own. <laughs> Yeah, so um, that's it for like uh, what I'm knitting on and what I've just finished. Um, I thought I'm gonna talk, maybe talk about like my knitting journey so far at the end, and maybe next time I can tell you a bit about myself more. But I thought, as this is a knitting podcast in the first episode, it would be more fitting to talk about my knitting journey. Um, so I actually know how to knit like since I was a child, but I only ever knit flat garter stitch. So that was the only thing I knew how to do. Um, at least I'm good at that now. <laughs> I knit, I don't knit continental, I knit um, where you hold the yarn in your right hand. Is that English style, I think? <laughs> and my mother taught me how to knit. And knitting is kind of a family tradition for us. My grandmother used to knit a lot and, and it's like the only thing she ever did when she was at home. She, she used to knit and we often saw her knitting and she loved to knit socks. Um, and my mother is more of a sweater knitter and she's been also knitting since she was a little girl and um, yeah she knows a lot about knitting but as I learn most of my knitting terms in English I sometimes have problems communicating with her um, as what I want to do because she knows everything in German um, or French and doesn't know what I'm talking about when I'm I'm talking about stitches in English. So yeah, she can show me things, but I don't know what they're called afterwards. <laughs> yes, and about two years ago, I got back to knitting after not having done it that much um, for a while uh, and only ever knitting garter. Um, and I started with that blanket I showed you um, and well the blanket very quickly got boring <laughs> and I want to knit some garments um, so I started knitting a sweater I think that's the first garment I did um, and after that I knitted some tops um, for the first time with a pattern 
The first sweater I knitted was without a pattern. I just did some squares and sewed them together. Um, but I learned to purl in, with that sweater. I'm gonna show it probably next time or the time after that. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, this is all over the place. I should have taken some notes as to what I wanna say. Um, yeah, and at the moment, with everything or almost everything I, I knit, I want to try to do something new um, and not just repeat the things I already know. So, for example, with the socks, with every sock pair of socks I knit, I want to try something new, be it color work or some um, cables um, that I've never done before and also with garments that I knit. Um, I want to try new things. The Jessie Maid top I showed you earlier, I knitted before and I just wanted something very fast to knit with this uh, wool that I want to try. Um, so there's there was nothing new in that for me except for the wool, which was also a thing. <laughs> Um, but the scarf I'm knitting um, has stitches I haven't done before and also I'm not that comfortable with increases yet so I'm training um, increasing <laughs> by doing like a scarf where you increase every few rows and yeah um, I think that's it I'm going to show you some of the garments I've done over the years in the other videos and um, I hope this wasn't too boring and I hope I can stick to doing this because I think I'm going to enjoy it um, maybe a bit more when I'm less nervous um, and I'm sorry for the ums. <laughs> I do that a lot when I'm nervous. I hope I don't have to cut too much in the video so it's not like this cut every for a few words but more a, a fluent thing and yeah i'm also sorry when i'm not looking at the camera a lot i think that i, I still gotta get used to that <laughs> um yeah and next time i'm gonna tell you a bit about myself and show you what i'm knitting on then and what i finished okay so See you soon and I hope you'll have a nice day. Bye!